Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All parents should be able to send their children to school and let them play in their neighborhoods without worrying about their safety. Sadly, under Democrat leadership and because of dangerous defund the police policies and rhetoric, right now too many communities across this country are not safe. We are having a crime surge, a crime crisis across America. Over a dozen cities set new homicide records last year. Since 2019, the homicide rate in the U.S. has increased over 36%. Hundreds of law enforcement officers were shot in the line of duty last year, and 67 officers have already been shot this year. Prolonged school closures and unconstitutional mask mandates under Democrat-governed states have harmed student mental health and put more kids at risk of substance abuse. Today's legislation before us fails to acknowledge this crime crisis, and instead it seeks to strip law-abiding citizens of their constitutionally protected rights. So if we're going to expand this report on student safety, let's take a serious look at what is fueling violence in our communities across this country. Number one, dangerous bail reform policies. Democrats across this country have implemented dangerous bail reform policies that release violent criminals back into communities and fuel lawlessness. New York State's bail reform prevents judges from even considering the dangerousness an individual poses to the community before releasing them. And no surprise, New York is now facing a historic crime wave due to these failed policies. New York City's crime rate has increased nearly 60% over last year, including increased rates of murder, rape, robbery, and assault. My amendment requires reporting on if the school is in a state or locality that is implementing these radical far-left bail reform policies. Number two, defending police, specifically defending police in schools. As part of this anti-law enforcement Democrat agenda, members, including of this committee, support legislation that not only defund the police, but defund school resource officers. Some schools have already followed suit and eliminated the use of school resource officers and pushed them outside of the school building. I know that I visited school districts in my community and Democrats, Republicans, independents support school resource officers. This dangerous defund the police agenda and policies to our schools puts our student safety at risk. My amendment simply adds reporting on the school's use of school resource resource officers, including if they have reduced the number of school resource officers or impose, imposed other restrictions that keep them from doing their job to keep the school safe. Number three, ending school discipline. Democrats continue to put radical wokeness ahead of student safety and well-being by labeling school discipline as racist and coercing schools to replace it with restorative justice policies. Quite simply, these policies cater to students who misbehave at the expense of all other students and can even make victims of violence and bullying sit face to face with their repeated aggressor. The limited evidence that exists on restorative justice found that it harms student achievement and can fuel classroom disorder. Yet Democrats use the Department of Education Office of Civil Rights to pressure schools across the country to adopt it. My amendment adds reporting on whether the school is implementing restorative justice as an alternative to school discipline, how they are measuring its effectiveness, and if they implemented such practices following an investigation from the Department of Education. These far left anti-law enforcement policies, they are harming our kids, they are harming our communities, they are making this country, making our schools, making us less safe. And the crime stats don't lie. Crime has surged across this country. So if we really want to expand this reporting to understand what is putting our kids at risk, here are just a few basic places to start. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Generally to you.